Hello everyone, this is Jernoda, and welcome back to another Let's Play Total War Warhammer 2. So, we're back into our food shortage of sorts, and it's a, it's, it's kind of a bad time so far. Uh, we did find a building that will generate more food, a putrid rice bog, which I guess is unique to this building, or this, uh, this uh, settlement. Uh, I don't believe I see them anywhere else, but we should probably check. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's probably unique to that province. Our army's been blocked. Our deadweight assassin is is back. Give him that ability, and we'll see if we can kill this this hero, or at least wound him. And has he? He can't even. He can't even perform the action. So we're gonna keep going up north, very slowly, and then we actually need to start raiding. But this guy's in kind of a bad spot right now. We don't really have gold or anything. Need a slightly bigger army. Assassination has failed. But he didn't die in the process, so I guess that's I guess that's good. Let's see, give him a pack leader. And then we'll come here. See how much it costs to colonize. Twelve ninety. We don't have enough. So for now we'll go back in here. To keep Oh crap. Alright, we'll go back in here to keep the peace. Uh, but we are going to run out of food soon. So, what we're going to do instead, due to this catastrophic issue, we're going to change all of our, our settlements to generate food. Or at least the ones that we can do that for. So hopefully we can alleviate this famine. Our and then we'll end our turn. Settlements being besieged. And we can... We need to raid the following... Province. Let's see. In the former right, which will give us better... Uh, better relationships with other Skaven, but we actually don't need that at the moment. We need food! We only have seven... Oh man, we really goofed on the food. I, I was worried about gold and I totally forgot about food. Alright, so we're running a deficit on gold as well now, but food shortage is not as bad as it was before. Instead of minus nine, it's only minus two. So, not as bad. Still bad, but... Ooh, concealment bombs? Climbing, man, target is hidden, effect of... Not sure, when a bomb is smashed, oh, meh. So we'll, uh... Go over here. Go over here. Could I walk as a group? Or not? Damn it, he's in the way. We could try and kill this guy again. 31%. And still a failure. See, this guy can't do a whole lot at the moment. Let's see, what else can we do? Not a, not a whole lot, to be honest. Could try to build something here, but it's not going to help us very much. So, we're just starting right, more rituals and whatnot. And we're, we're almost at that point of no more food. Alright, so we'll... 
move into this province. I say, say, move, move. And we'll perform the raid. Ooh. It does not have any walls. Orion's camp. What? There's only one settlement in here? I'm gonna go this way. This way, way. Don't believe I can raid. No, no. But we will I try to attack that guy. No Let's see if we can. Uh... This one does not have walls either. All right, so we'll go over this way. All right, so running low on food, money, pretty much everything. Under the sun. Let's see, this army is 1816. If we disband it, we might be in a good spot. Let's see, loyalty is 100%. Eight. Hmm. Not a whole lot we can do here, so I guess. Our income's uh, not in a good spot. Ooh. End of treasury. For the next turn is 21 gold. Alright, so a lot has happened in that in that last turn. Uh, we lost the Fortress of Dawn. We auto-resolved it. Uh, it wasn't even worth us fighting. So now we're gonna see if we can uh, sue for peace. Priests of Elfwan, rats in the Phoenix Court. How is it? I cannot do this. Well, we tried. Anyways, with that loss, we actually are now at a positive food situation, and also slightly, which is slightly negative, uh, with the with the um, gold. Alright, so they tried to force an attack. We retreated without combat during their turn. So now we're going to fight Kroga on the open field. You are attacking. Decline the attack. Who dares challenge me? Me? What the? What the hell? There we go. Fight me, fight quick. Now we will ambush. Time for things to die, die. Uh, let's see. Should we fight the battle yes, yes. or auto resolve? Uh, I think we'll fight the battle. Mainly because I'm concerned about losing my rat ogres. Oh, but we should we should be in prime position to. And this time, we'll try to destroy everything there. A complete victory is the hope. Let's see. Plenty of slave and slaves. Yeah, plenty of those guys. Have you guys part of group two? Alright. I'm gonna spread these bad Larrys out a little bit more. Okay, so let's begin. Reinforcements are arriving in support, Commander. Link up with them and surround the enemy. Right, we're gonna try and attack them from both sides. All right, let's do this.
Alright, we'll, we'll send these guys out to stop them from running away. Oh, they have a lot of skirmishing units. Alright, more reinforcements are gonna show up. Alright, these storm vermin are... They should have been in the middle. Let's see... These are our guys, so I shoot up those dudes that are running. We'll do a little bit of this, right in the back. Corner these missile infantry. Let's see these fools. We'll hopefully just get crushed soon. Ooh, we got the weapon gouger here. Ooh, Stegadon. This time I brought I brought the army. Where's my melee specialist? Let's send them on him. Quick, where are you? Quick head taker. Alright. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Get the boys to help. Where's my warp fire thrower? Yeah, there they are. Yeah. Have them destroy this this side of the enemy, and then we have our storm vermin. Who are just taking, taking fire. My goodness. can't leave him alone for a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my elite soldiers in to the center of the battlefield. I'm gonna let my, my assassin take care of the Stegadon. I'm gonna keep my trash units there to distract the these skirmishing units. This way I can uh, keep track of these storm vermin. Alright, so the assassin... Oh, this guy's just kind of hanging out. Alright, reinforcements are coming. Now warp fire throwers can take care of the skirmishing units. Send these guys over there to help out. Got plenty of skirmishing units. I'm gonna try and charge in through the back. Some additional plan rats. Our thief, where are you at? It's over there. Not doing a whole lot. Anyways, we're gonna try to stop that Stegadon from moving. And I'm going to try and kill it. Our storm vermin are just trying to hold the anti-large down. He is exhausted. Alright, I need you guys over there. Are these all slingers? Oh wow, they are. If that's the case, I'm gonna send them all over there to attack those guys. These guys are... Oh, we have another assassin coming in. He can help with this mess. Alright, have those guys over there, so my dudes don't keep getting pelted in the face. Armor piercing damage. 
additional melee defense for all men around the general. Alright, the Stegadon needs to die. He's running away. The assassin can hopefully take him out. Alright, these guys are gonna go in and just pelt the shenanigans out of this backline. Alright, send those guys in. Ooh, the Stegodon is dead! Yes! Now he's by himself. But he'll be okay. These guys literally don't stand a chance against that assassin. And I have more coming. Let's see, I'm trying to take those guys out. This talisman will be helpful for us, so I'm gonna do that right now. That'll really reduce their effectiveness as I try to kill my men. Let's see. Can we find Krogar? That's that's the real challenge here. And then we're just going to destroy them with warp fire right here. These lizardmen against this one assassin and a ton of warp fire. Oh yeah, come on, bring in the warp fire. Oh victory. A sweet, sweet victory. So we, we need to try and go for a complete victory here, so if there's any high priced units like that Stegadon that we just killed, then we try to kill them. Like this cavalry unit, the pulled one, we should probably try and kill the enemy lord at the at the end of that free time. So I think I think uh, Krogar field for a little while, unless we killed one of the hero units. Um, but we finally killed that freaking Stegadon. And by winning this battle, we gain a huge surplus in food. So that's that's really good. We didn't really see too many blessed chameleons, but that's that's totally cool, I guess. We wiped out a significant a significant amount of enemy troops with actually fairly minimal losses on our side. I mean, we did lose half. I mean, these are mostly Skaven slaves, and so, you know they're not as important. Uh, we did lose more legionnaire uh, storm vermin than we would have liked, uh, but that was just a little bit of a miss micro on my part. Uh, we'll try to do better with that in the future. But so far so good with that. We can... We should probably get more food or replenish some troops. Uh, we'll, we'll go with more food mainly because we just have that shortage. So we want to be in like this nice area of plentiful. That way we can keep armies and people don't become disloyal over time. So, ooh, we'll do Warpstone Weapon, hopefully that actually makes his weapon green or something, that'd be pretty cool. Now with this, we'll, we'll try to take the settlement as well. Uh, oh wow, we can auto-resolve this, alright, so we'll take it. Excellent. In this case, we'll sack, we'll sack the settlement just because we can. And some, you know, decent amount of gold as well. Make him a survivalist for now. Kill the enemy. We'll take the settlement likely in the next turn. We'll keep an eye on this guy. If he if he starts coming over, we'll have to, you know, do stuff. But we also needed that gold to upgrade some of these guys so that we can do some things with it. Let's see, roofless plans. Uh, 
I usually like to leave a little bit of gold available. So 2200 is a good amount for now. And then we right, will come back. back. We're doing more research. We're getting some pretty good traits. I'm gonna check on this guy's loyalty. Alright, it's back at 9. He was at 8. I think. So this guy... Uh, we'll do replenish troops. We're gonna embed him into one of these armies. Let's see. Ah, oh, crap. I screwed that up. Oh well. We'll, we'll just have to take the settlement now. Alright, so two battles, two victories. We'll loot and occupy. Take the settlement. And then... That, I'm gonna force mark my way back in for that unfortunate incident there. This way we can max that out. And we can also... Let's see, I don't think you can recruit. Nope, but this guy can. Uh, we could... We could get some... No, we just don't have any good units at the moment. We need to build up our military infrastructure for some better units. But we're gonna start... We were gonna start breeding, but... 19... 18... So what I'll do is I'll train these guys within the armies first before we do anything else with them. We need to take this in the next turn, if possible. Oh right, we can't can't do the total war thing, uh, the Rome total war thing where you can uh, just transfer units. Just not happening. See, this is three grand. This is two grand. So let's do that. Get some more gold. And then let's just double check here. All right. So we and so we will now attack Orion's camp. We'll just we'll take it. And I think this will destroy their faction. Not a whole lot of gold to be taken from that, so... We now have secured that. The last defenders are gone. We can... We can generate more food. This place won't generate too much gold anyways, so... Why bother? And then we'll have this guy join... The army. Because this guy is gonna give off a ton of EXP. So, ooh, magic resistance, missile damage. I'll do one of that. Since our warp fire throwers are pretty good right now, our assassin has a ton of HP. And then we also have this army right here. We'll just keep maxing that guy out. Ooh, can we get some more food options? Nope. Let's see. Will the rubbish pit? Uh, yeah, not particularly. Not particularly good with that. Alright, outside of that, the elves are still at the bay. We have and a potential we'll... rebellion in the southern jungles that I have not noticed. And we have no armies there to stop it. Everyone is up north. Literally, everyone's up north. Alright, so we... Orion's camp. Uh, we'll just go south. We'll use the underways. Uh, we won't for this army. We'll go this way. 
Let's see, if there is going to be a rebellion, I believe it usually happens at the capital. So we will recruit a new lord who will devastate my economy. We'll do that. And we'll get him a bunch of slingers, I guess. Hmm. Actually, that's all I can afford. So, actually, they're the most expensive option. Huh. Okay, I guess we can't do that. Because we won't have any gold. How is... what? Oh, upkeep is ridiculous. Huh. I guess I can't do this. I don't have gold. No, oh, no, I don't have anything. God damn it. Alright. We'll let the rebellion happen. Your foolish subjects here have taken up arms against your rule, my lord. Move against their uprising, or it may grow to threaten your grip on this place. Ah, those fools. Alright, so since we're in a kerfuffle, we'll uh, demand that they give us a peace treaty so that we can take care of this. What? We just need some gold. So we got some gold out of that. Let's see. Who else can we uh oh, you come here in desperation, yes? Good. I can deal with desperate mortals. Recusant. Uh, oh, these are vampires. <laughs> hmm. Bring decay! Ooh. Come, brothers! Join peasant never! Oh. Alright, well... Is bad. Diplomacy Bankrupt. is a bad time. Alright, we're on the brink of bankruptcy. My so here's what we'll do. Merge all units. Expand that. 99, 99. Clan rats. These guys are cheap, so we keep those guys. These guys all are of low experience. Kick off a few more of these guys, because they're kind of pricey. Alright, got some rat ogres, but this garrison should be... Should be pretty large, so... Should give us enough time to go down south to... Help out the bros. Let's see, go this way. Take us a few turns to get back. I think we are out of time here, so I'd like to thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time!